Hey everyone, today we're making a bokken. So this is the piece of wood we're using to make the bokken. It's Tasmanian oak and the bottom is actually sitting on the floor. I forgot to say, we're making a Sansudo bokken. So let's talk a little bit about the Sansudo. So it is an absolutely colossal sword. It was used in Korea during the Joseon Dynasty and typically they were about 1.8 meters long. And they came with inspiration from the Japanese Nadachi and it was almost like a, well watch me, I can make it bigger and they made it bigger. Now they had quite a slender blade, quite thin, so that they could still be used with their giant size and typically weighed about 1.8 to 2 kilograms. Now the one that we'll be making today is going to be based off the specs in Weodobo Tongji and it'll have a 45cm handle, a 30cm habaki, and including the habaki, a total blade length of 135cm. Alright, so we've rough cut our handle. We still have a lot to sand off later, but as you can see, it is big. Very big. I mean, maybe we could just train like this, you know? Are you rowing a boat? <laughs> Alright, let's get to view. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got it roughed out. Um, you know what, I, I think this is done. Because I definitely don't want to do the hours of sanding that we're going to do to um, clean it up. As you can see, it is big. Very big. But after cutting off a little bit more, I mean, it's, very, it's a lot more wieldable than it was before. It's still pretty heavy. But um, that's it. Heavy, but 
Cool. <laughs> Let's go get some grub. Film in the portaloo. Huh? They film the portaloo. It's Australian construction. Yeah, but there's nobody there and we wait for them. Yeah. <laughs> Sums up Australia. Alright, so we use the electric planer, we plane down this edge. Because it's a planer, it doesn't really do this edge very well. We also use it to shampoo the handle and it's relatively comfortable to hold.
Alrighty, so that's the Sunster door blocking pretty much done. It's not perfect by any means, but it's the best I can do. If you watched this and you thought, what is he doing? He does, it looks like he has no idea what he's doing with the tools. You'd be absolutely right. Um, my woodworking skills are not fantastic. But this is good enough to train with and that's enough for me. As you can see, it is a very big sword. That's the tip. And that's me. And I'm about 1.7 meters. So it is big. I'll be using this to train through some Sun Sudo forms. And when I get good enough, maybe I'll show you on YouTube. Hope you like this, and with that, I'll see you next time.